Paving the Way podcast. Welcome to 5-Minute Mondays with your host, Medusa. Come listen to some fascinating stories, affirmations, wisdom, and even a few interviews of people that have paved the way and are paving the way in their journey of success. Listen to their timeline of adversities from traumas to triumph. And also list us some guidance of life and even a few workshops of living your best life, digging deep and understanding the science of happiness, learning how to bounce back, the art of being present, seven reasons to be mindful, the power of gratitude, and so much more. Paving the Way Podcast with your host, Medusa. Hey, everybody. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Five Minute Mondays Paving the Way podcast and your host, Medusa. Me, how are you? Hello. I hope you had a good week. I hope things are getting better. I hope you're shining through, uh, digging deep, kicking ass. Yeah. Wow. So... I had an amazing, interesting week, especially from last week from uh, the bend, right? Um, It was quite opening because I knew what I was going to talk about the next week. And it just had me thinking about a few things. So just, just before we start here, I just want to get everybody up to date and who we are and what we do and what we've been doing. Uh, My name is Medusa. I um, am a life transitioning coach as well as my other colorful professions. And I do a lot of resource fact checking and a lot of reading and seminars. And anyway, I put together a lot of my own stuff by other material that I read. Um, I piece it together in my own words. Um, Sometimes their stuff is better and I use it to better my practice um, when coaching, um, mentoring people. And so I am just so blessed um, to be comfortable where I'm at in my life. I mean, it only took me 60 years. (laughs) right and so I can pick and choose to do what I want what I want to wear what I want to eat and I should be so lucky and blessed to even do that and I am so blessed that to even wake up in the mornings breathing and I love my life I love my husband I love my family and um it just got me thinking so what we're doing here everybody if this is your first time just tuning in And I will say this, again, I do a lot of podcasts, sometimes I do two, three, four in a row, and I have them sitting in my, (laughs) in my production here, and they're supposed to go out automatically. And I have been just like mesmerized finding things just sitting there when they're supposed to go out, but Hopefully it doesn't do it again, but I'm sure it will we'll run into that again. So I apologize, everybody that's been waiting for podcasts. <laughs> Sometimes you guys just get a dump of them because they haven't been out and I have to do one or two over. But, you know, eh, I learned something again and again every time I do and repeat stuff. Isn't that what we do? Sometimes we just keep at it and we get better at what we do. So. For everybody that's new out there, or you're just like wondering where the hell we've been because it was sitting in a damn, uh, the, uh, hold the production because it was probably human error. My, it was probably my fault. Definitely. Uh, so, um, what we are doing here, it's like a year of just simplicity. It's no right or wrong. I just tell you to get out a notepad or a journal and journal away. Listen to what, I, what I'm talking about and then use it for yourself. Um, self-healing for growth um, by keeping yourself accountable. Uh, it's a lot of fun and it's going to be 
eye-opening and refreshing and it also could be very emotional so that being said um um remember there's no right or wrong so just um kick back enjoy write things down um i i'll have you do like little journals i'll do i'll have you do like little lessons um, and then you can keep it. It's like a year's worth of work free, right? And I think you're going to love it. So then there's that. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. We're going to give it a whirl. And um, this week's is called sensing. It's like tune in and tune up. I mean, haven't you felt that like you just need the sense and you're going to tune in and tune out and you need to redo and regroup and yeah. Oh yeah, that happens to me all the freaking time, all the time. So um, here we go and uh, good luck. Just listen, have fun and um, no judging on yourself. Okay. Um, so the world is full of magic things patiently waiting for our senses to grow sharper. Isn't that beautiful? So there's a, uh, there's a flower that kind of caught my eye the other day outside and down by my garden. And the, the light was kind of really amazing and incredible. And, and there it was doing its own wonderful, beautiful thing, just in the light, just simply being a flower, right? And so I took a picture of it on my phone. I mean, I've got a couple apps like what's this plant? What's this leaf? What's this flower type of thing, right? And later I just kind of uploaded it. And I saw that it wasn't just a single like flower anymore. It hiding, just like hiding in sight I could see the, like the crinkled vine and the dewiness and the little hairs on the green and it, and it's shaped like a, like a starburst almost. And I wasn't sure. I mean, I wasn't sure about like, what is this all about? Look at this nature, right? And I saw that it wasn't just a single flower anymore. There was just so much more to it. And the dark leaves and it just mixed in with the light ones. And there was like little baby buds and just different stages of growth. You can see some blooming, half bloom, and then all of it together with the flower petals like against the backdrop of a like the, the later afternoon I mean I was just staring at this and how much beauty it was and it just took my breath away I mean who doesn't love being awakened by beauty when you least expect it especially nature I mean you're just walking around your yard I'm very blessed to have five acres and you wouldn't believe the things we see here all the time differently every time you go out um but the the camera, I mean, the camera helps too. Like as you can zoom in and see things. You can see more things than you ever did just look to the naked eye. So I would just wanted to slow down and just detach from everything else, right? Because there's a lot of magic out there. And seeing takes time, right? So what do you notice right now that you hadn't noticed before? If you took more closely what I was saying, what does it reveal about you? Right? And so it could be an object that you tune into. Um, like like something like this like like this morning i looked up at this wonderful painting i have on my wall and 
I've had it up there for years. But this morning I noticed like some different flowers next to this other image that I've never seen before in it. And it made me think like this painting is continuing to generate itself after all these years. And this painting was created by a woman that was so artistic and that was so full of colorful and, and brightness and love. Um, and she had such a wonderful energy. I mean, I just, I considered her sacred, right? And after seeing something new in the picture, I thought about myself in many ways in the spiritual world and knowing what I know yet still seeking for the special something, I realized that there's not a word or phrase for me to say to stop the noise. It's just tuning in to what's inside. Inside I hear a voice like it, and it, it speaks to me constantly, like ready for me to listen, right? And I heard it yesterday, even like, when I went to was waiting to, for my massage, I, I even heard it in my waiting for getting a massage. I have skills, tools, only I need the courage is to use them. So it could be one thing that leads to another and another as, um, as this one person describes, let's say the light shining on the east wall leads me to where it's coming from. The window of the door that shows me the sun about to set on this first day of the new year. I am drawn to go for a walk as the sun sinks below a horizon turning a subtle salmon color. I welcome this new rhythm, this new pace, this new realm. So as, as we begin our exploration of sensing, the third step in our journey together, let's go of all preconceived ideas of what something should be and enjoy the ride. So be open, be curious, take your time, allow whatever is wanting to reveal itself to you. Adopt the Zen Buddha attitude or just adopt the beginner's mind. So over the next 10 weeks, you will have an opportunity to experience the ease, beauty, and magic that comes from tuning into and tuning up your six senses. And if you don't know what your six senses are, they are seeing, tasting, smelling, touching, listening, and intuition. Intuitive. So I think I'm just thinking here. But okay, so I'm um, wait, did I say did I say six? Seeing, tasting, smelling, touching, listening, and intuiting. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you'll discover that the real show is standing right in front of your nose. Get it? Your nose. Like you do know and your nose. Ha ha ha. Anyway. <laughs> so the practice this week um, is this. What is the first thing that catches your eye when you look up from the screen? Aha. Like when you're looking at your computer screen or something, right? What is the first thing? What do you see that you hadn't noticed before? And what happens when you take your time to take it in? What does it say about you? <laughs> Interesting, right? So use this week to practice and, and study. Study your immediate surroundings from a place of beginner's mind. When you reach for your favorite coffee cup in the morning, 
For example, imagine that you've never seen one before. What do you love about it? How was it designed to be used? Is it practical? Is it too big, small? Is it a different color? Do you like the print on it? What about the touch? Pay closer attention to one thing for at least one minute a day and record your impressions. You will blow your freaking mind. I'm not kidding. Someone had to relate to me about the picture thing because haven't you ever looked at something like for so long and you look at it and you're like, God dang, I'm damn sister Joe. I did not ever see that. <laughs> like where did this come from? So there's always something revealing itself to you. New stuff. So for your journal revealings, I, I want you to write down three things. So your first one would be like, What's catching my eye when I look up from my screen, right? And then, and what am I really seeing that I hadn't noticed before? Okay, number two. What happens when I slow down enough and take in my surroundings in this way? And number three, what it feels like to take my time taking in my world. Yes. And that's it. That is it for this week. This is lesson 21. So if you're just tuning in and this interests you, you've got to go back and listen because these puppies, you've got 21 lessons to catch up. And this is part three. Sensing, tune in and tune up. Right? And um, that's a lot of fun. You're going to learn a lot about yourself. So until next week, guys, you know what to do. Um, you can write your discussions. You can write your questions. Whatever you want to do, and go to the Spreaker app. We're on all platforms. Thank you for listening. And make sure you share with your friends um, and come join us. Have a, an amazing week, guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.